everybody. Hi. Have you ever been in Venice? Venice, wonderful place. And maybe you didn't know where to go to eat, or maybe you went in a restaurant and you thought, oh my god, I spent way too much money. So we are going to give you some suggestion or idea of where to eat in Venice. Yeah, place with to an have. affordable price, or not even that affordable, but you an experience that you should make. Okay, starting with fast food. That are the best food. Yeah. The What do we have in Venice? <laughs> McDonald's, Burger King. Old Wild West. Old Wild West And, is the best. Uh, Yeah, those are the easiest option that you can find and the cheapest one. But of course, if you come in Venice, maybe you don't want to go to eat there except him. Who doesn't? Um, oh, well, hamburger. Oh my god. My first choice is Osteria alla Bifora, which is situated in Campo Santa Margherita. And uh, it's really nice and uh, it's not expensive at all. I don't know that. Place. You can spend 20 euro for two person maybe or something like this. Uh, we will uh, put the prices maybe in mm -hmm. the description box or somewhere in here. here. Yeah. And uh, uh, basically it's nice because they give you um, Venetian cuisine experience and uh, it's really good. There's fish, there's meat, there's... Uh, cheese and they give you a big tagliere which is like a, how do you explain tagliere like a piece of uh, wood with uh, food on it and uh, they give you a um, little bit of bread and you can put everything together and it's super yummy and they have even good good wines okay, cool. to pair with it then the second one is il muro which is a pizzeria and restaurant And uh, I suggest you especially for the pizza because it is extremely good and they make even particular um, tastes of the pizza, different pizzas. You choose uh, Remer. Why yes. did you choose Remer? Are you sure it's the correct spelling? The one near Rialto, <laughs> behind the Burger King? Because it's kind of, the place is kind of hidden, like a lot of people don't know that place. So I don't think it's a tourist place or is it? No, it is a tourist place. Actually, the it, tourist guy lead them to that. When you go in Vaporetto on the Gran Canal, uh, you can uh, see it. But when you walk on the road, you cannot see it because it's inside a little street. Yeah, so you so must I know where to go. But it's really famous. Oh. Yeah and uh, it's really good it's fancy it uh, serves not only um, venetian cuisine but uh, in all italian general italian cuisine so I, i i like the environment so it's next to the canagande and he has the dock he has a boat he has a nice garden thingy and there's always a nice light i don't know Ooh, why there's good. always a, a nice light there Lily! <laughs> Lily is a student's place. Everybody goes there after that, school. Yeah, he's the first on trip advisor for Venice, I think. It yeah. deserves it. Deserve it. It's super duper cheap. cheap. Like it's the cheapest thing the cheapest. Cheap, cheapest that you can find in Venice. Like yeah. um, one euro, you have a cicchetto, which is a piece of bread with something on it, or a little panino. And um, mm -hmm. and yeah. then of course so the wine. Vino, 70 cents or something. Yeah, super cheap. Yeah, it's pretty very cheap. Like with Affordable. five euros, you eat a lot, yep. and it's super good. But the problem is there are it's always crowded because it's cheap. Everybody goes there. No, the other you problem the is line. that uh, there are no tables. Like it's ah. a place really really small where there's just. Uh, the um, the owner that is giving you the food but then when he gives you the food you go outside, you go outside and sit uh, on, the floor, on the ground sit yeah next to, canal, next to that there's sit a church. In front of church usually everybody yeah. sit, sit in front of yeah, the church we do that. it's a fun place to hang out yeah it's always busy there yeah i've been yeah. interesting place we have mixed feeling about it It's <laughs> like everybody got a different experience of Cafe Trenta because mm. not only makes breakfast but lunch and dinner is a restaurant 
uh, you can make aperitivo and it's also a disco club so weird huh yeah you can stay there from the morning to the <laughs> night and then even sleep there maybe i don't know continue and the day. yeah actually it's not cheap like it's not like no the, usually prices. a spritz is uh, from two euros to three euros fifty if it's more uh, I, I want to ask them why if it's if it's less i'm suspicious and uh, <clears throat> this one is a three euro forty place uh three euro fifty place so it means that it means that it's already going too much for a, just a spritz and the thing that they give you with the spritz I like the Little snacks. The little snacks they, they gave the you chips. are really suspicious. <laughs> kind of old sometimes. Yeah, kind of old. Yeah. I had sometimes it served good stuff. But why did you put it in the list though? The last... <laughs> I thought we were just talking about stuff like... <laughs> like talking which one is good and which one is bad. Okay, okay we are yeah. right to the last one. It's popular. Which is the most expensive of the list. Yeah. It's called uh, Il Paradiso Perduto. Never been there. Me and my friend spent 50 euros each, which is a lot. What? What do you spend on? Uh, they serve uh, mainly fish or uh, mm, yeah, dishes place. with fish. So if you're a fish lover, as I am, you can go there. Me don't like it. Uh, but the thing is that you can actually order just one main dish and then the dessert uh, or the, and the coffee because one dish is already really huge. Uh, we um, order the first course, the second course, the dessert and the coffee and the wine. So it was a lot. I think that was why we spent a lot of money. But guys, it's so good. I love that. And the atmosphere is really, I don't know, kind of magical oh. and uh, intimate. I don't know, I love it. Nice. And it costs a lot. It's really nice. Um, yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of other stuff, other places you can try. And yeah, of course. Maybe we will make uh, other episodes of these where we suggest you places where to go to in Venice. Right now we just came out with these ones, which are the easiest, uh, the most popular. Uh, ah, there's even uh, on the... Okay, uh, Il Paradiso Perduto is on uh, Fondamenta della Misericordia. And on that street, there are a lot of uh, bar and places where to drink. My favorite one is Il Timon, uh, which gives a lot of choices between wines and uh, cicchetti. And you can uh, even have a lunch and a dinner, but I think that you should be sure to, okay. to reserve the table before going there. Hmm. And uh, yeah, on the road there's a lot. There's even Capa Tost, which is a place that makes a super huge toast panini, like this big, and you don't want to eat anything else all day long. And they're like, uh, most expensive one I think is 10 euros. It's super cheap. Okay, what about Chinese restaurant? The best chi Chinese restaurant in Venice is yes. Giardino di Giada. Giardino di Giada. Il Giardino di Giada. Yeah, near, near the Alto. Go that place. That's my favorite. Is oh, your favorite? Good. Yeah, that's my favorite. In Venice? And, and the people there are super duper friendly. Oh, yeah. They're like your family yeah. and they, they care about you. The food is good price, good, good value for the money. You know, very nice, delicious. Yeah. Go there. Mm. Not sponsored, but go there. <laughs> it's because when you are kind, you, you like people come to you. Mm, yes, you just need nice. to be nice. And... It's a nice place. That's it. Yeah. All right, you can go discover your own favorite place. There are so many places in Venice. There are expensive one, cheap one. You gotta find the right place. Maybe we don't we... really know the expensive ones. <laughs> no, oh, we all know the expensive ones. They always uh, San Marco, Rialto. especially San Marco. You know, they yeah, use the... people scam. scam the rule, tourists. the rule is the nearest you go to San Marco, the the most expensive it is. Yeah. 
Okay, I hope those informations have been useful for you. Yeah. I hope that you, if you are traveling in Venice, you enjoy your trip. And uh, see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Tell us what restaurant you like, what yeah. place you like. Tell us in the comments. So, bye bye.